Top local law enforcement officials are calling on state lawmakers tonight to help them do more to prevent violence and create safer communities all across the state. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live digging deeper into the challenges many agencies continue to face. Mariah. Yeah, the attorney general says that law enforcement agencies across the state are facing different challenges, including a fentanyl crisis as well as staffing shortages. He says both of these need to be prioritized in order to focus on safety. Long hours to keep the community safe. We've been working mandatory overtime in, in my jail and, and on our streets in Durham County for way too long. Durham County Sheriff Clarence Burkhead says it's become the norm for many deputies and officers, especially within their detention facility where he has more than 80 officer vacancies. Then the quality of life and the mental well-being of our officers certainly suffers. Wednesday afternoon, Sheriff Burkhead joined other law enforcement leaders sharing how staffing shortages have impacted morale, response to calls, and overall safety. One of the things that we regularly hear when uh, officers are looking to leave certain departments is because they may be working by themselves an awful lot or they're in a big rural area and their backup may be 20, 30, 40 minutes away. Attorney General Josh Stein says it's why he's calling to state legislators, asking not only support to improve recruitment, retention, incentives and pay, including a House bill that would allow retired officers to come back without impacting retirement, but also initiatives to create safer communities. We must put our money where our mouth is and help them to do their important jobs in our communities. Stein says ending the state's backlog of sexual assault kits has also opened the doors to more hits to the database than ever before in solving several cold cases. But the work isn't done. Stein is not only advocating for a cold case unit to help overburden agencies, but also a fentanyl control unit to help district attorneys prosecute cases. He says nine people die from fentanyl in North Carolina every day. These drugs are in our community and we are watching our young people die from these drugs every single day. Stein also says that he's looking at ways to smooth the process to look at hiring applicants from out of state. He also says that they're looking to help officers who are nearing retirement to stay longer. And Riley Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. And Mariah, you mentioned staffing shortages for a lot of our law enforcement agencies. What exactly are some of our agencies seeing? Yeah, we did reach out and right here in Raleigh, we talked to the Raleigh Police Department and they tell me that they have about a 9% vacancy rate, but over in Durham, Durham Police say they're facing a larger challenge. They have a 26% vacancy rate. That's about 130 officer positions that they're working to fill. But I can tell you, several of these agencies that came here today, all of them are dealing with shortages, some bigger than others. Yeah, certainly a challenge for 26%. sure. 26%. That is huge. a large amount. All right, yeah. Mariah, thank you.